to the one giving all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh by Shemir Arusha, by Hashem HaKodash, the honor to the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone, in the citations, of course, to Yaakim, upholding the testimony of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh in truth and in sincerity. Woe to them that are at ease in Zion. Is uh, inspired based upon uh, a, a slight vision in which I had um, last night um, in regarding uh, Israelites being in a lofty position in America, having comfortable scenarios. I remember in the vision being in a, a position uh, where. Well, in, in our reality, you know, you have, especially in here in Atlanta, you have Israelites that are very wealthy, living in palaces and mansions and in many big houses and, and you know, very in, in the hill countries. And Israelites, black people in America, or excuse me, black people in Atlanta specifically live very comfortably. Not, not all black people, but you have a lot of wealthy well-off black people that's living very comfortably in Atlanta. I and mean, I see it myself from my own eyes. Um, but in, in the dream in which I had last night, I remember being in a scenario seeing black people, or Israelites, may I say, uh, and also the Northern Kingdom as well. Right, you, you, a lot of Hispanics live very well, you know, in Atlanta. Um, and a lot of them don't, you know. But um, I remember being in a dream and seeing, and being uh, in the midst of a subdivision, a mountainous subdivision with large houses, and these houses were inhabited by Israelites, and that is the reality of this city. That is the reality of this city. That almost reminded me of a place in which um, I'm familiar with. Um, I remember being on top of the hill and seeing how it was so beautiful. And I remember I was in the power of a jurisdiction that helped put some of these people here. But I also remember in, in the back of my mind that all of this will be destroyed. And none of this in which these Israelites have in their possession is for longevity. In the time of the destruction of you stiff-necked Israelites who refuse to turn to the Lord and who have been satiated with the dainties of Egypt have come. This is the book of Amos, chapter 6, verse 1. Woe to them that are at ease in Zion and trust in the mountain of Samaria, which are named chief of the nations, to whom the house of Israel came, Verse 3, skip it now. Ye that put far away the evil day and cause the seat of violence to come near, that lie upon beds of ivory and stretch themselves upon their couches and eat the lambs out of the flock and the calves out of the midst of the stall, that chant to the sound of the um, violin, or it says viol in, in this context, and invent to themselves instruments of music like David. And that's exactly what these Israelites do in America, specifically in Atlanta, here at Capernaum, man. These people are, are, are proud, they're boastful. You know, it's, every weekend is a party weekend, every weekend is a turn up. Unlike a lot of other places in the world in America, Atlanta is completely open. The clubs are open, you know, uh, the city is open, people are, are having the time of their lives. In, indulging in folly, partying, you know, rioting, drunkards, eating the, the best of, the, uh, of, of food, drinking the best of wine, having not a care in the world. Verse 5, the chant to the sound of the vial and invent to themselves 
instruments of music like David, that drink wine in bowls and anoint themselves with the chief ointments. But they are not grieved for the affliction of Joseph. Right. You know, you know, these these Israelites, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians who are living loftily, you, you don't consider that you that you are in a, 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 a place of comfortability, but the, the sons of Jacob are struggling. Your other people that are of your same stock and lineage are on the streets, strung out on drugs, bugged out of their mind, man. Begging for pennies. Every corner you turn in Atlanta is somebody begging for pennies and coins, man. It's, it's, tent, it's tent villages throughout down, the city of downtown, man, with Israelites. Poor, destitute, broken because of this system, this evil, diabolic system of America, of these Edomites. They don't consider the affliction of Jacob. They don't consider the Israelites at the border who have been put, at, put in cages. The Northern Kingdom Israelites. They don't consider the sons of Gad who are in concentration camps in, um, uh, in the Northwest a portion of America. They don't consider that. They don't consider the Native Americans' plight. They don't consider the plight of, 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 these, of these children who are walking around with no shoes, man. In Atlanta, Georgia. In the Reeves. Verse 7. Therefore, now should they go captive with the first that go captive. And the banquet of them that stretch themselves shall be removed. Right. Because they've been given dante. Uh, supplements in this society because of their compromising stance or because they are intelligent and they do have capabilities and they have had opportunities and so they were able to come up but they didn't consider the law of Yahweh by Shem Shah. they didn't consider the ordinances of which the Lord has commanded us and so just as these people are going into concentration camps pretty soon you will be going into concentration camps just as these people have been evicted from their homes because they don't have finances, you soon will be evicted from your homes because of lack of finances. Unless you want to take the chip. Unless you want to take the max. And even at that, you will be compromised. Your immune system. Your livelihood. You will be trapped for the rest of your life. Your DNA will be compromised and your DNA will be, will be changed. Is that a life worth living? Was it worth it at that point? The cars? The houses? What is more important? Your own house? Your body? Or the house in which you dwell in? At what cost? Been out here scamming. You've been selling drugs. These women been out here selling their pussy. Doing all type of lewd and perverse acts. Defiling the, the honor of Jacob, your time of judgment is at hand. Verse 8 The Lord God has sworn by himself, saith Yahweh, the power of hosts. I abhor the excellency of Jacob. So, you people, you, you entertainers, you rappers, you doctors, you lawyers, all right? You, you, you jakes that have, you know, you um, real estate agents. You jakes that have, you, you business owners that have a, a, a comfortable and a satiating position in society. The Lord said he adhors, he hates the excellency of Jacob. You rappers, you producers. He hates you because you are supposed to be the leaders. You are supposed to be the influencers of the nation. And what have you done? You have, you have... Guided the sheep to the slaughter, man. You have not prepared the people. You have not healed the people. You have not sought out that which was lost. What are you doing, General Yohanna? Making rap songs about the max. What are you doing, you people in comfortable positions? Who have, op who have spread your legs for Esau, man. Verse 8. The Lord Yahweh hath sworn by himself, saith Yahweh, 
the God of hosts, I abhor the excellency of Jacob and hate his palaces. You Jakes is living up in these in these nice ass houses because you know you you get off on some of these exits when you come to Atlanta in, in these black black areas, man. So called black areas down in South West Atlanta, South Atlanta, and you'll think, you know, Jake, you know, damn, Jake's struggling. Jake do be struggling, but you if you keep going in the crevices, man, Jake living in mansions and mansions, mansions and palaces, man. Jake is living in hills, man. Out here in go out in Gwinnett. Out up in, in, in Buckhead. You go down to South Atlanta, it ain't nothing but Israelites living in, in, in mansions, man. Full, full subdivisions, 100 houses, 200 houses. And your time of judgment has come. Verse 8. The Lord God has sworn by himself saith Yahweh, the God of hosts, I abhor the excellency of Jacob and hate his palaces. Therefore will I deliver up the city with all that is therein. And it shall come to pass, if there remain ten men in one house, that they shall die. And a man's uncle shall take him up, and he that burneth him to bring out the bones out of the house and shall say unto him, That is by the sides of the house, Is there yet any with thee? And he shall say, No. Then shall he say, Hold thy tongue, for we may not make mention of the name of Yahweh. Right, because you didn't call on the name of the Lord, Bishop Nathaniel. You leading these people astray. And it's just come out a, a, a piece of archaeological evidence in Israel. And this is what Great Millstone has been pushing from the beginning. A piece of archaeological evidence in Israel. Uh, I believe it was near the um, the dead um, near the Dead Sea. I'm not sure if it was the, in the Qumran caves or not, but it was a uh, a post Hellen post Hellenistic um, era of Israel because the the scripture I believe it was the the scripture of the book of Zechariah. It was written in Greek, showing you that it was post Alexander. All right. It was written in Greek, but every time the name of the Heavenly Father came up, the name of the Lord, it was written in Hebrew, saying Yahweh. But you say we don't have the name. No, you have compromised. And those who are, are, are amongst you have done the same, man. And your time of judgment has come. Verse 11, for behold, Yahweh commandeth, and he will smite the great house with breaches, and the little house with clefts. Shall horses run upon the rock, and one plow there with oxen? No, you're not going to be able to have your, 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 your cars anymore, man. Your Lambos, your Range Rovers, your Bentleys, your Rolls Royce, your Audis, your Hellcats. Oxen rep represents uh, industry. No, you're not going to be able to have your industry, your business. Your, your, your business, your, your downtown Atlanta business. All right? Your south side Atlanta, your north side Atlanta club. It says, I'm going to read that again. It says, will one plow there with oxen? No, you're not going to be able to have your business to prosper anymore, man. It says, for ye have turned judgment into God, because you rejected our Lord Yahweh Shah. Like it. And it reads, it says, For ye have uh, turned judgment into guile, because you rejected our Lord and Savior Yahweh and you mocked him. It says, In the fruit of righteousness, and to him lot. Ye which rejoice in a thing of not, which say, Have we not taken to us horns, horns meaning power? By our own strength. That's why these niggas say, I'm self-made. I'm a self-made millionaire. Self-made, you know, this and that. Not giving glory to the Lord. And not realizing. Not realizing that you compromise. At, 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 you compromise at the dispense of your salvation. All right? You compromise at the dispense of your salvation, man. And you will not make it. You have received your consolation on this side. And you will be destroyed. 
for your misconduct unless you repent. Unless you repent, which we know most of you most of you will not repent. You know, most of you will not repent because the Lord is not with you. The Lord has not called you for, for salvation and mercy. Verse 13, it says, Ye why be your proud, man? And the scripture says, pride coming before destruction. It says, ye which rejoice in a thing of naught, which say, have we not taken to us horns by our own strength? But behold, I will raise up against you a nation. And in that time, it was the nation of the Syrians. And this time, it will be the modern Assyrian, which is the Babylon, or, or let, me, let me speak plainly, America. The, you, the countries in which you dwell in, the, the government of America, Sleepy Joe, Moneybag Joe, Trippin' Joe is about to send troops through here. And if you don't um, submit to his authority and submit to his um, declaration and proclamation of, um, of this microchip and his max, everything you have will be lost. And even at that, everything you have will be lost. All right? It says, but behold, I will raise up against you a nation, O house of Israel, saith Yahweh, the God of hosts, and they shall afflict you from the entering into Hamath unto the river of the wilderness. So basically in all your provinces in which you dwell in, you, there should be no escape. You're going to be afflicted and you're going to be destroyed by these American, these Gurkha, these um, foreign troops, man. All right, by these, by these different Edomites, these different nations, these different people, these different Israelites that you look down upon, you shit it on. These lower level Israelites with lack of finances, who don't have resources, they coming to get yours. You guys don't got, you don't have real resources anyway. You niggas living in condos, you know. You don't, you don't have any storehouses. You don't have, you don't have farmland. You stupid niggas. Thinking this shit is a fucking game, man. And your judgment is at hand. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Bahashim Urchakudash. The elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Salutations to Yahweh. Shalom and keep the faith.